Yes, Nuki and Alex back again tonight. Yes, we're back with Solus OS 1.2 Eve Line. Now, you know, Solus, Debian based, does what it says on the tin. Lots and lots of people like it. I think when I first done the video around about February, January time, he was just getting started and there was no thing. I've got some videos going down and everything is going really, really good for him. Really, really, really good. Ike and the team are really working hard. They've got some stuff going down that we all like. They've got some sponsorship. So it's really, really nice for Solus and Ike and all the team. Nice. So, Eveline 1.2. What's different? Not too much, really. Okay. It's really just a basically an update and a new kernel update, etc., etc. Basically getting all stuff out of the way so you don't have to download all this stuff with the old one. Okay, because some of you may not have a decent internet connection, or it might be slow. You know what it's like in Europe. Some places are good, and some places are bad, or better than bad. So as you can see, I've installed the baby here, Solus OS. So you've got a computer, Sneaky's home, which is me, by the way, and waste basket. Can we have a rubbish basket for UK, please? IQ, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Looks like name two is known to it does known to stuff we all like it it does what it says loads and loads of people like it whether you whether you like this or not whether you're a known free fan kde fan or whatever this does what it says it gets stuff going nice it's not actually meant for old hardware although it will run on it but hey anyway enough of my rambling and ranting let's have a bit of apple juice while we're waiting here hang on a second mmm very very appley tonight must have apples in it Okay, your bottom known bar, you've got your time and date, so if I click it, we get a calendar and where we are in the world and how dark it is, look, I'm over here like, in the dark bit at the moment, and some of you may be over here in the light bit, or that light bit over there, or the light bit over there, but hey, who cares? Anyway, that's that, you've got some notifications and your volume and sound, I'll turn it up a bit actually, yeah, I like to turn it up, and my ethernet connection down there as well, so it's all hunky-dory. Now, being like you know me too, he, so well, it's not real home too, is it? But it's the best you're gonna get. We get our menu. Yeah, hello menu, how are you? We click menu. So we get all places, accessories, games, graphics, internet, office, sound, and video, and system tools, and our control center. Or you can just search for an application if you really want to. Okay, so we go to all. It's all the same, really. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm not going to go that route because that would take too long. I don't want to make the video too long because most of you may be using, well, some of you may be using Solus. I mean, I am. I've got it installed on a laptop. It's quite old, but it does what it says on the tin, does YouTube stuff, and does what all the kids want it to do. Places, get all the usual. We get rubbish bin there, you see. But we get waste basket. Race basket. <laughs> we get waste basket to get up there. So we want rubbish bin. And rubbish bin, okay? That's my little moan, okay? That's my moan out of the way. Under accessories, you get your archive manager, your calculator, get it to here, your root dominar, take a screenshot, which we're going to do right now. Grab the whole desktop, yeah, take that screenshot. And once you save it on the desktop, save. Nice. There it is. We'll open it up. Dun, 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 dun. And that's a screenshot for the home screen. Uh, that's gone now. Shall I keep it there? Well, I will for the time being. Back to our menu. Okay, now here we go. Under games, there's no known games or anything like that, but you can get them from the Software Center or Synaptic. We'll come to that in a minute. But you get... Oh, see, mate, it's so bloody quick as well. You do get play on links to play your Windows games. So I've got some really old games that I like to play that are Windows based, okay? Oh, yeah, I oh, know, I know, I know. Age of Empires, I still like playing now and again and stuff like that. Just... It, just for going back, really, yeah. So that's that bad way. Under graphics, you get GNU Paint, G Thumb, and Simple Scan. So if we go to GNU Paint, we'll open it up for you, make sure it all works. It looks really nice on this screen, actually. It really fits, so I'm liking that. Okay. Back to the menu. We'll go to Intranet. Okay. Dropbox is as standard. The Firefox web browser, Mozilla Thunderbird for your mail and news. Pigeon for instant messaging. Yes, you can get Skype and all that as well. Transmission and XChat. So we'll open the Fox up. And Foxy starts thinking about it. Oh, and there we go. Now, what version of Firefox is it? Now, you know what it's going to be, don't you? Yeah, I do. It's 14.0.1. So it's the latest and greatest. So I'm going to do, while we're over here, we'll check it all out. I'll just put in Solus to start with. 
so it doesn't come up. But if we put in Solus OS, and there we are. Shan, I've got some called Shan actually on CD, years old. And here we go, it was released on the 17th. Yes, I know it took a couple of days, but I've been doing some stuff, man. You know, checking me melon, man. As you can see here, Thunderbird 14.0.1, thund sorry, Firefox 14.0.1, Thunderbird 14, LibreOffice 3.6. The new kernel is 3.3.6 with BFS and 100 hertz. IP tables, UFW, uh, yeah, you know what that means, and HSLIP and GNOME 2.3.0. Nice. While we're here, we'll go to about. Okay, about Solus OS. Just in case you don't actually know, what is it? Linux-based, Debian-based. Does what it says on the tin. I'm not going to go through with you all of it, but you can do anything you want on it, really. Yeah, no, really, really. You don't have to pay for it, but if you want to give them a couple of shekels, it'll be really, really helpful because you can get some stuff going down. You know what I mean? So if you want to give them like a fiver, even that'd be eight dollars. If you're in the states. He'd be a really, really happy chappy because it might keep on developing it without going to get a proper job. Or maybe just a proper job at the same time. I, can't, I haven't spoken to him for such a long time now. So it'd be really, really nice. Okay, we'll go to testimonials. Just so you can see, okay. Great distro, blah, blah, blah. So look, this is the best, blah, 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 blah. It's Debian based. Well, this is the main thing why I like it, right? It's Debian based. Debian is stable, okay? It is stable. It will always be stable. If it ain't stable, they will chuck it out. Same as, simple as, enough said, done. Right. Flash is pre installed by default, by the way. I don't know how many to do that, but he does. So if I go to the BBC homepage, you'll see what I mean. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Now, I could click, click on the iPlayer there, which I'm going to, but I'm not actually going to play it because I'll be breaking the law. That was a good program, by the way. Toughest place to be a miner. Okay. Go back and go back one more. We're going to go to YouTube. A tube is the Ube. A Ube is a tube. Right, if I put me in, just so to say, okay, so it won't break anything. There's me, top of the tree. That rhymes, isn't it? I just realised that. Yeah. We're clicking the puppy precise, sorry, the puppy precise video. And I check, make sure it all works out of the box. Yes, it does. Look, super of the bleeding duper. Nice. So I change the resolution. Yeah, I go to 480. Nice, it will still do what it says on the tin. Five, three, two, one, a bit more drinkage, thank you very much. Mm, 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 mm. There you go, plays nice, audio's out of the box, super duper, super duper, even super of my duper. And I've got a big duper, okay. So yeah, that all works. Laters, bye. Okay, back to the menu one more time. So we've done the internet, that's fine, you know what's there, it's all the basics. Under Office, as I said before, the full Libre Office suite, sound and video. Right, a long while ago when he was still developing it, well, he's actually done it, and he said, "Please put Open Shot in," and he has. Nice geezer, lovely, love him for it. Don't want to marry him or anything, but he's a nice geezer. Brazero Cheese, Gnome M Player, Mini Tube for playing YouTube stuff. If you don't want to go to the site, that's nice. Pulse Audio stuff, that's down there. Riven Box, my favourite music player. I like it. Okay, if you don't say to him, put something else in, and he will do. He's that sort of guy. Yeah, a nice guy. He's supposed to be coming down here this September. I'm not sure if he'll make it, though. He got so busy with Solus, I think he's just wrapped up in his work. Okay, we'll open HTOP up for a start, and we'll see what's going down in HTOP. If it's going to work. Ooh, now that's one, isn't it? Didn't actually work there, did it? Mm mm mm. Okay, we'll go to the system monitor instead. I know that works, I've used it before. Now, as you can see, it's using none of my CPU, it's only using 142 megs of my RAM and none of my swap, okay? So it does what it says on the tin. It's really, really easy for even older hardware. So you don't have to have a run of the mill new stuff. Five, six, even seven years old should run it fine. Okay, dual core will be preferable, okay? But if you've got single core, say Pentium 4, 3 gig or 2.8, it should just run just fine, okay? Okay, back to my menu again. I'm going to go to the control center this time. Okay, here you can change everything about Adobe, your keyboard stuff, appearance. You can check out Compiz. Remember to enable your drivers if you ha have one that can be enabled for a start. Oh, your first run was it, by the way. When you first install it, this will come up first. Or when you first run the, the disk, this will come up. You can go to your website, check out the forums, and there's five other steps. But I'm not going to go through them because you can just download it yourself and check it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay, back to the control center. We're going to scroll down a bit more. 
Check out your Bluetooth, your network, your network connections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your monitors and your keyboard. Yeah, it's fine by me. Add and remove software. Now, this is the software center, okay? The software center as such. As near as you're going to get, basically, in Solus or any Debian. Well, this one looks a little bit different. So, so I put in, shall we say, one of my fave. Abby Word. And you can see it's querying down here. And it'll go and check it out for me. Oh, that was quick. I was just about to drink a drink then, but it's gone already. So it's only 282. I'm not too worried about it. Abbey Word is so really, really solid and does what it says. I'm not worried about it. I always install it on customer stuff as well, on client stuff, just as a backup, just in case LibreOffice goes bang, as one did last week, which was, was a bit naughty, really. I don't know what went bang with it, but it's just gone bang, did -dee 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 -dee, bang, bang. So I'm going to tip that and I'm going to apply. And I'm going to download that and see how it checks out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's my password? I'm going to just go and do what it says. So it's now downloading all the packages. See how quick it is. Nice. Uh -uh -uh. Let me drink that time. Now remember, you can add extra desktops if you so wish to do so. But I'm not going to bother on this one at the moment because it's not the laptop. Okay. I couldn't actually be able to record on my laptop because it's quite old. But all the kids love using it, so that's nice. They go from like Unity, which they like. Okay, oh, lovely. What one do we want to run? Ooh. <laughs> See, it's time already. Really good, that one. I'm just going to close it. And we're going to close the software center as well. Now, in theory, if I go to Office, Abbey Word should be there. So let's open it up and make sure it all works. Oh, look at that. See how super quick and fast that was? It's unbelievable. I really like it. He's changed some things here too, because the last one, I've, well actually the last two I've had, have not been pretty hunky-dory yet. I know I've left him alone for about three months actually. I've let other reviewers do it and stuff like that. But I really like Solus. So yeah, 282 does it for me. Mm -mm -mm. Good, 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 good. So anyway, back to the control center. And we're going to go down, down. So we've got your disk manager and your firewall configuration, which you can do. It sets up as a standard one when you first boot it. If you want to add extra stuff, you can go and do that. Gparted, well, got to be there, isn't it, really? Software sources, your software updates, software updates again, and your Synaptic Package Manager. I love it when they install this. For the simple reason, it makes it so much easier when you want just a single package and not have the whole software center blah de blah de blah blah jibbity jabbity jibbity jabbity thing. So, for instance, say I wanted to go and get DKMS, which I've already got, by the way. I got it when I was installing. You may need this if you're going to run it in a virtual box, by the way, to get your full screen resolution. But, hey, who gives a... There you go. This one's been installed. DKMS. So you get a nice stuff going down. There's all there. And you've got the legacy drivers if you've got NVIDIA stuff anyway. Okay. Yeah, where was I? Oh, yeah. Back at the control center. And I was going down the bottom here. You get your time and date, your users and groups, and your pulse. Pulse. Pulse, no, it's pulse, audio preferences, network access, and stuff like that. Some distros don't give you this option to have all this, but IQ's done this, so you've got all what you want to do in this package. Now, I know it's not on a CD, it won't fit on a CD, it's a DVD, but it's a small DVD, so that's no big deal, really. And most people got DVD drives now. If you haven't, you can get them brand new for £4.99, which would be seven, eight dollars in the US and in Australia and wherever. Or you can pick them up really cheap at your tip, because they're bound to still work in old computers. Solus OS 1.2 Eveline, a good update, a good system, a good operating system, Debian based. I really like it. 99.9%. Enough .9 said, enough said. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.